Hello friends, how are you? Look at this. It's a 3D printed vase. But there's something more to it. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's a vase with a farce. These things are surprisingly easy to design in 3D. You just draw out the line of your face from just a photo and revolve it around the central axis. These things are also quite fast to print because your nozzle only has to do a long spiral along the edge, it never has to stop. You often see these at trade shows because it's a great demo for your printer. It's large, but it prints out quite fast, so you can get one done in less than an hour for this size of a thing. They also hold water, which is cool. I miss trade shows. Last time I went to a trade show, my favorite thing was this umbrella that these guys put together, which is impossible to forget on a rainy day. Because it knows if it's gonna rain, and only on those days you will get this magic glow and this steam, and only then can you pull out the sword from the stone. This trade show was also where I got the inspiration to make these joysticks that I've been make, making lately. There was a guy who had made a whole helicopter cockpit there. I'm sure you've seen this illusion before, but what about this one? If you look closely, you'll see that it has two different faces. And they're morphing into each other as it turns around. I think you might have seen on YouTube, uh, my favorite YouTuber, Tim from Grand Illusions, did a video of it. It's got the Queen and the Prince, Elizabeth and Philip on either side. Not quite sure. I think this is Philip and this would be Elizabeth. And you can buy these as souvenirs. This was super easy to replicate too because you could just take the photo and put it down as silhouettes which you can then revolve around the axis. The question is how to get the two silhouettes to blend together like this. I'll show you how to do it quite easily in Fusion. It's a really cool effect. But even non-royals can do this, so you can take your own face, just like I've done here, and then take another face on the other side and make a blending two-face vase. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Fusion, which is a software that's free to use. So for instance, here I've taken my favorite YouTuber Tim's face, and here's the map of the Nile. I guess I better go get some flowers for these. See, it really looks like a nice flower vase now. But when you look at these objects closely, you'll see these freaky faces in there. Can you recognize all of these characters? So, to make your own dual face vase, plop down a JPEG of a face on one of the faces of this 3D space. It's called the canvas command, it's meant for this sort of reference imagery. Plop it down anywhere, don't worry about the size, because you can then use this calibrate command to pick two spots, like the chin and the eye level, and if you measure your own, you'll know that it's about you know 13 centimeters or whatever. So you can calibrate the size with this command, and the image is resized to fit. This face is gonna go on the left, and on the right I'm gonna add another Leo. This time I'm going to resize him manually to fit I think it's important to match the nose levels. You can almost already see like a vase between their faces, can't you? Next, uh, plop down a sketch on the faces. I mean, on a face that's the same as the faces are in this 3D space. <laughs> and use the spline command, which lets you make these smooth lines. Follow his outline roughly, and then you have to readjust these Bezier curves. I think it's important to capture the nose line and perhaps the size and shape of the brow and so on. Next I'm going to add these straight lines on the bottom, in the center and at the top of the goblet that we're making. 
And furthermore, I'm going to add one extra vertical line that's between the center and the face. You'll see why later. Draw the same outline for your second face. You can use your artistic license here. Try and use about the same amount of control points if you can. I add a little base here as well, just for style. And if you disable the canvases, you'll see your vase shape. Pretty cool. Next, take the revolve command. Choose everything except for that middle core that we left out with the straight line. And only revolve it about 30 degrees or so. Not full circle yet. Next thing, make a new sketch on the floor and add a circle like this. You'll see why later. We're gonna use not the revolve command, but this one, loft. This lets you make this sort of transitional shape between two faces. But normally it will be a single straight line for each point, whereas we need a round shape. So we're gonna use this center line adjustment. You can see how it works here. It's taking the transition, but it's taking it on a detour based on the shape of this 3D line. We'll take advantage of this for our face loft operation. So click on the center line command and choose this circle that we drew. And see how the faces are smoothly transitioned to each other, yet the trajectory that each line takes is similar to that circle, which results in a nice round vase. Once you're happy with your settings, do it on the other side as well. Looking at the shape, I noticed that the top part of this goblet would have been a bit difficult to print because of the high angles. So I go in and use my artistic license a little bit once again to smooth out some of these shapes. If you do it carefully, you'll be able to retain the general features of the character. And here it is. This would not have worked if there wasn't that gap in the middle between these two halves that we made with the vertical line. The loft command only works with two disconnected faces. Finally, make another circle sketch here and fill in this core cylinder that we left. Next you go into your print settings. I use two bottom layers. I make the flow rate double so it so it really prints out these fat sausages on top of each other in a spiral and to get that spiral I use this spiralized auto contour. It's also called the vase mode. You'll see that this is quite a large model yet it only takes one hour to print. So I'll make a few examples, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's Leonardo and Leonardo, Batman and Joker, your favorite comic book characters, you can make a nice vase out of them. You know, I think, I think this is another Batman, another Joker here. Did I make two Batmans? Oh look, everyone's printing these, it's the, it's Boba Fett and Yoda. Harry Potter and Voldemort. You've seen it in the poster, haven't you? If you like Harry Potter, you can also make Harry Potter and the literal Goblet of Fire. These are goblets, after all. If you're not interested in the royal family of England, you can make them out of other world leaders. So here is your favorite president. I could keep on going making these famous characters into two-phase vases for you, but the idea is here for you to take your own face and make it into something. So of course the best one to make is to take your own face, take your girlfriend's boyfriend's face and make a nice little romantic vase with the two of you. That should be a great gift. So that's what I've done here. It's uh, me and my girlfriend here. 
You might want to know how I made this Lazy Susan device. It's actually super simple. It's using these bearing rollers from your printer and some random DC motor with some gearbox and a battery from a drone from a long time ago. So a moment of truth, let's see if it works. Oh, how the Lazy Susans. Of course, the Lazy Susan worked just fine, uh, at least for a while. The base worked fine until it didn't. Turns out the DC motor I was using was rated for 3 volts and I was using it with 8. So how do you like these 3D printed two-face vases? I think it's a pretty cool effect, so why don't you make one and just place it somewhere where people can see it and see who will catch on to the illusion first. Depending on the background, they're quite hard to see, but with the right background, it can really pop out to you. Just get a side profile of your own face, and then on the other side, put your favorite guy, your favorite dame, and make a romantic little goblet. Dame? Come and die.